If you can change your outlook, change some of your values, and change your rules, you'll find there's a whole other set of rules out there that are more conducive for people who want to be rich. The story of Rich Dad, Poor Dad is really a story of two different fathers with two different sets of values and completely different sets of advice. So I don't mean to insult anybody or, you know, to damage your values, but really that was the difference. For example, my poor dad always said, you know, go to school, get good grades, get a high paying job, work hard, uh, live below your means, save money, get out of debt, have a good retirement plan. And that was my poor dad's values. My rich dad said, you probably won't get rich doing that way because very few people get rich following that plan. But you thought saving money made you money. If you take a look at this 40-year run on the dollar, the dollar is designed economically to lose money every single year. So why would you save something that loses money every year? And what this means for somebody on retirement plans is that after you retire, your, your, the value of your dollar goes down and your cost of living keeps going up. To my rich dad, that was bad advice and made no sense. Again, it was different value. The important diagram my rich dad showed me when I was a little boy was a diagram known as a cash flow quadrant. And the quadrant is made up of the four different people who make up the world of business. So my rich dad said, in the world of business, there's E's. And E's stand for employees. An employee, he says, you can always tell who they are by their core values. And what the employee, whether the president or the janitor of the company, will always say the same words. The words are, I'm looking for a safe, secure job with benefits. That's what makes them an employee because their core values are security. The other, other one of the four is the S, or the small business owner or the self-employed. And again, their core values will cause them to use the same words, which are, if you want it done right, do it by yourself. S means they're also solo. They're generally one person act or they operate by themselves. On the right side of the quadrant are the B's. And what Rich Dad said the B stood for was big business or like Bill Gates. Forbes defines big business as 500 employees or more. And their words are different. They say I'm looking for a good system, a good network, and the smartest people I know to help run my business. So they're unlike the S, they don't want to run the company by themselves. They want smart people to run their companies for them. And then the fourth of a quadrant is the I, and I stands for investor. These are people who have money work hard for them. These people are people who have people work hard for them. And these are the people that work hard for the rich here. So early on in my life, it was my, my poor dad, who always said to me, you know, Robert, go to school and say get a high paying job. And so my poor dad's core value was to be an employee. He wanted job security, promotions, a steady paycheck and all this. And so it was my rich dad who said to me, he says, you know, Robert, if you really want to be rich, learn to build businesses. It made more sense to him to work hard to build a business, something you owned and something you could pass on for generation to generation to your kids. Whereas my poor dad said, work hard, but my rich dad said, why would you work hard for something you'll never own and you can get fired from right away? Again, that was the difference in values. So my rich dad suggested I learn how to be a business owner and learn how to be an investor. And that's one of the big differences. On this side of the quadrant, these people here work for security. They work for money also. On this side over here, their key value that they want is they want freedom. They don't want to have to work at a job anymore. They don't want to have to work for the rest of their lives. So the beauty of building a business and learning how to invest is very simply that this is passive income. You work hard for a few years, but possibly for the rest of your life, income keeps flowing to you. Of all the businesses out there, which type do you choose? One of the reasons I consider a direct selling business a perfect business is very simply because the company will work with you to get the business skills that make you rich. Always remember that it's not money that makes you rich, it's business skills. And that's why it's a perfect business. They'll, work, they'll take as long as you like to get the skills to make the money. And that's a lifetime skill thing. The other part about it is the low startup cost. You know, where else can you get in for under $500 and get these skills? 
For people who want to make the shift over to the B quadrant, which is what I would recommend for people, one of the beauties of a network marketing company is that you can do that for a very low price. And that's why I talk to people about considering network marketing. If you're to build a Microsoft, it would take you hundreds of millions of dollars. But a network marketing company allows you to start at a very low rate, they'll be patient with you, they'll take their time to transition over here. And the reason why that time is so important to most people is it takes time to change those values. And the most important thing is once you take the time, let's say it takes one year, two years, five years, whatever time it takes, once you see the, the value or the core values of this side and this side, you're unstoppable. Today, I would never go back and get a job. Why should I? I'd rather stay on this side, build companies, pay less taxes, and make more money. But the key is a person needs to change the values from my poor dad to the values of my rich dad. And that's one of the beauties of network marketing companies. They allow you the time and at very low cost, they'll work with you to make that transition over there. The number one asset a person can build is build a business. That is the smartest thing you can do. Years ago, I decided not to follow the corporate ladder simply because, again, it was values. You know, my poor dad always said, go to school and get a high paying job with the government or big corporation. But my rich dad said, why would you work so hard at something you'll never own? You can't sell your job. You can't pass it on to your kids. So to me, it never made any sense. It made more sense to build my own business and hire other people. The other reason is that you really don't have much control if you're in the corporate ladder world. For example, you can get fired at any time. Or today we have what's called M&As or mergers and acquisitions where another company buys another company. So you could be a great employee, but the company that buys your company just fires you. Wait a minute. This sounds too good to be true. Like one of those get-rich-quick schemes. It's not a get-rich-quick formula. You don't just do it overnight. It takes time. I still remember the first time I made that transition was back in 1978 when I fully quit my job and I had to depend upon my company that I was building to support me. So I understand the fear. The beauty, the most important thing to remember is this. There's two kinds of people in the world. There are the types that will say, you'll never make it. And there was a lot of, I had a lot of people, a lot of friends and family saying that. You're stupid. Don't do it. And the second type were the people that said, go for it. You can do it. Don't worry about it. We'll cover you. So the most important thing is support of friends and family. One of the beauties of a direct selling company is that they provide that personal support to you for as long as it takes you to make the journey from the left side to my rich dad side. One of the challenges of being self-employed is that you're your own boss. You're the solo act. Like in the S quadrant, you're the individual. You do it on your own. Whereas in the B quadrant, you're a team player. You have to depend upon your team and count on your team. So the problem with being an S is that, let's say you're in a traffic accident, there goes your income. And let's say you get older and you haven't set enough money aside to retire on, that means you'll probably have to work for the rest of your life because you don't have anybody else to fall back on, not a team to count on. So one of the problems with the S, all the most people say is the most satisfying of all work, it is a solo act and you're totally on your own. Personally, I'd rather be a member of a team if you know, they can count on me and I can count on them. We all know the world has changed, but sometimes the hardest thing to change is ourselves. And being an old guy, I sort of know the older I get, I sometimes get more set in my ways. And I think that's one of the things that a direct selling business offers people, why it's the perfect business. They allow you to take your time to make the mental, emotional, and physical changes required to move from the left side to the rich dad side. I think that's a big thing. It's a very gracious, it's a very elegant way, it's a patient way of supporting you in making the changes of your life. So please remember, change always creates upset, but sometimes we all know we have to make those changes. And if you know it's time for you to make that change, then the perfect business may be a direct selling business for you. Direct selling. It is, quite possibly, the perfect business for you. For more information, contact the person who gave you this video.